once again everybody and welcome back to my channel so as you can see I am looking very casual today this video I am filming in a huge t-shirt my hair is getting messed it's just frizzy as I'll get out my makeup is like smudgy we're just gonna do this video this is just a casual casual video for all my music lovers I needed to make a music related video for like all my subscribers who have either like subscribed because of my singing or because of my um, record hauls or record videos and I just wanted to make another video for y'all because I know I haven't really been on top of those recently I haven't really been buying vinyl records but don't you worry I'll be doing more of that in the future but for right now for you guys I have a vinyl record tag video and I know I just did a tag video but whatever we're just gonna jump into this and we're gonna do it and it's gonna be awesome so let's go so the first question is how many records do you own I probably should have counted these but in case you didn't know these are not all the records that I own in total I pro in total I probably have close to 300 these are just the ones that I love the most and I listen to the most often um, these are my children hello um, but yeah probably close to about 300 if not more what kind of record player do you have I just have a a Crosby Crosby no Crosley I have a Crosley um, record player uh, I'll link my video down below of my first record collection video uh, and I show my record player in that one how old were you when you first started collecting records um, well, I didn't really start collecting until a couple of years ago, um, but when I was like five or s more like five, four or five, then my dad introduced me to records, um, so I started loving records at that age, and I've had records and record players in my room for, I don't even know, forever, it seems like. I've just pretty much always loved records, um, I just love them. What is the oldest record you own? Um probably the ones that were originally my dad's which is like all not not all my records but a lot of them my dad gave to me because I don't know he just kept them all this time um I don't know I have well yes I do I have a couple of um I, I think they're like rare or something they're like meet the Beatles or with the Beatles uh, I don't have cases for them but they're they're in here somewhere they're in here I show I've talked about them in record collection videos um, and I'll, I'll just link I'll just go ahead and link them down below because I know that y'all don't want to go on a scavenger hunt what was the first record that you ever got oh uh, see this is hard for me because a lot of these my dad just gave to me and like so I never physically went and got but the first record that I ever bought the first one I ever got oh that's really hard probably a Jimmy Buffett album I really love Jimmy Buffett in case you didn't know uh, there is a Jimmy Buffett poster right here you can't see all of it and it's kind of rude what you can see but it's okay um moving on oh what is the first record you ever got with your own money probably a Jimmy Buffett one uh, I want to say maybe, no, 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 take it back, take it back. Uh, I'm not going to cut out that other part because I did a lot of talking, but the first one that I got was Magical Mystery Tour. I bought it. I remember in my brain. I remember. So that's what it is. What is your favorite colored vinyl? Hold on and I will show you. Okay, this is a bootleg record. It is Jefferson Airplane Winterland 1970 tapes from the Mothership. Um, I don't remember the story of this record, but it's like a red color. This is a live recording. Uh, I really, really like this record. See that side one, side two. It's really hard. Well, not really hard, but it's a very deep red color, and I just am obsessed. I love it. What is a discount album that you own? Uh, I bought several for like three dollars. Uh, I have like Seals and Crofts. Um, uh, that's the only one I can think of, but I'll, I'll just list all of my vinyl videos down below because I have a lot of hauls. I have 
collection. I have all that stuff down below for you guys in case you are not familiar. What is your prized possession? Um, probably the Beatles White Album or Magical Mystery Tour. A record by a female artist. I have a ton of Loretta Lynn albums. I love her. I, I just love her so much. A record by your favorite band. Um, have a lot. Uh, Abbey Road or Magical Mystery Tour. Magical Mystery Tour is my favorite Beatles album. A little bit of Hannah trivia there for you. An impulse buy. Um, one time I actually went on Etsy and bought like five Jimmy Buffett albums, um, just because I felt like it, and they were like six dollars a piece, so I just love Jimmy Buffett. Um, one that I can specifically remember is actually from eBay, and it is Last Mango in Paris, and I remember seeing it, and it was like the only one that I could find, and so I was like, I have to have it, have to have it right now, and it was like twenty dollars, I was like, what am I doing? A gift like a gift to me, um, like all my Loretta Lynn, Conway Twitty, um, Porter Wagner, uh, Tammy Wynette, all that stuff, my cousin uh, sent to me and all I had to do was pay for the shipping, so I consider that a considerable gift. Most played record. I would probably have to say most played is Jimmy Buffett, Havana Daydreaming. A rarity um, whatever record that is meet the Beatles with the Beatles something like that I think we looked it up and it was really expensive or something but it's like one of my cherished possessions and I don't play it that much because I'm scared to scratch it a rainy day record um, Simon and Garfunkel Wednesday morning 3 a.m. a feel-good album Ooh, probably Havana Daydreaming by Jimmy Buffett. Um, but I think Magical Mystery Tour is also a feel-good album. Or Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. A nostalgic record. Um, all of them, I guess. Probably... I don't want to keep saying the same ones over and over, you know? But... I know. Um... Wavelength. I think it's Van Van Morrison. I think Wavelength. I remember when I was little, I used to go to my dad's apartment because he had an apartment um, in the city that he worked in because he um, worked so far off. And whenever me and my mom would go to visit him at his apartment, he would always play Wavelength. Uh, I'll try to link it down below so you guys can hear it, but he would always play Wavelength and we would always dance. I don't know why. We just really liked that song. A record store day purchase um I've never really gone to a record store day I know that's like a thing but I've never participated um, I don't know what to say a recent purchase uh, my Nirvana bleach album which is like my favorite Nirvana album I love it uh, I really love Nirvana but that's one of my most recent ones that is all for this tag you guys thank you so so much for joining me again today leave me a like if you like this video comment down below and subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Friday thank you guys so so much for joining me again today and I'll see you guys next time bye